So you just connected an external hard drive to your computer and you just can't seem to get into the folder. You can't get into the hard drive. So uh, if you click hold Windows and click E, you'll get uh, Windows Explorer. And here inside you can press uh, this little refresh key and we can see we don't have the hard drive appearing here. So what do we do? Well, we can right click on the Windows uh, button right here and we can find Disk Management. And if your additional Windows won't let you do that, you can search for Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions and you'll get uh, the same window there. Anyways, here you can see we have this hard drive. This external hard drive I just plugged in, uh, it's uh, 2000 uh, gigabytes. So you can see it's uh, this big and we can't access it. And the reason why we can't access it, the reason why it doesn't appear in the uh, Windows Explorer is that Windows doesn't know how to get into it. And it doesn't know how to get into it because it doesn't have a letter assigned. So we'll need to right click this. Uh, this is the primary partition. You can see we have a system partition, EFI, something like that. If you have any of those, don't care about them. Go to this uh, thing that's usually called new volume or something uh, and you right click on it and you click change drive letter and path. And it allows uh, access to the volume by using uh, drive letter and path. So we just click add and you can select uh, any letter you want. We're gonna select Q uh, and assign the following derive letter. Yes, okay, we click OK. And here we have it. We can now access this thing. So here we have a drive. Um, we can open it and there is nothing here, but you can see there is a little bit problem. It's only one megabyte free of two terabytes and something is clearly wrong with this particular drive. If your drive looks a little bit like this, well, then we're going to try to do and uh, fix it. So I have Puron uh, Recovery and we are going to start Disk Check. Now, if you don't want to have Puron Utilities, it's free, by the way. It's very good and very powerful. I recommend you this freeware. Um, then you could try and right click this one, click Properties and then go to tools and click error checking and click check here. And it will try to do the same thing, but I do trust uh, this one more. So uh, let's scan and uh, wait for this process. All right, interesting. Uh, so nothing happened there. So we're gonna try and click just fix and see what it does. All right, so the disk check seemed to be unable to actually repair this disk. So we'll actually need to go into recovery. I'm gonna use file recovery from Pure and Utilities again, freeware, uh, and try to recover some files. And then we're going to reformat it. Okay, so here we have the file recovery. We need to select the correct one, which is physical drive one raw. Uh, alternatively this one it's actually kind of the same but we're going to take yeah we're gonna take this one uh, da, 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 da. let's see if we may not actually need to do a, re a deep scan a deep scan finds more but uh, it also takes a lot more time so we're going to try and scan it all right we need to do a deep scan then we might as well uh, scan physical drive one if you take up this one here, you can see that our regular C drive here is disk zero, right? That's our usual drive. Oh no. All right, we have to restart this one. Disk management. All right, so here you can see disk C, uh, new volume, and this one is the disk zero one. Cool. Okay, we're going to take this uh, physical drive one and we're going to begin and uh, scan it with the deep scan and everything. Cool. This will take some time. Well, I can't certainly say what happened to this disk, but file recovery seems to be real hard for it. We don't hear any troubles from the disk in particular, but well, I suppose we will not be able to recover any files on this disk, uh, whatever those files were. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and reformat it. 
So here we can see we have an EF5 system partition and that's great when you have a drive that will be bootable. But this, um, we won't have it bootable, we'll just have it, uh, you know, as some kind of uh, plug-in for uh, storing media or something. So we're going to remove that. So we're going to start uh, Command Prompt or PowerShell as admin. We can right-click on the Windows key and run it as admin, or we can run it uh, as administrators in other ways too. Anyways, we will write in disk, uh, disk part, and now disk part should uh, start. Yes. All right, this disk has some serious trouble. I'm not sure we'll be able to use it, but we're going to try. So we're going to format it and see if it's problem with the form, with the like uh, um, formatting on it and the data on it, or if it's actually a disk error. If we can successfully recover it by this, uh, the disk should be completely fine. So what we need to do is write in, after we start a disk part, let it just run until we can write in stuff and list disk. Right, and as you can see here, disk one, disk zero, you'll know it disk one in this case. So select disk one. Uh, do not select the wrong disk, and uh, that will lead to very big problems. You do not want to delete stuff on your uh, disk you are running, so make sure it's actually the correct disk. And to do that, you'll just have disk management here, and it should be fine. Anyways, now we write list, whoops, list, partition right and here we have system and uh, other partitions so we can select select partition one and delete right and delete override <laughs> oh uh, and uh, <laughs> we need to write in delete partition override to actually delete this partition uh, so write in delete partition override and it will be fine. So now we have removed, you can see it here. And uh, this one is unallocated and we can delete the other one by doing to disk part, but we can also delete this volume here. So there we have it deleted. We don't need disk part anymore. It's easier to do it here. So here we have a lot of unallocated space. So what we do is we create a new simple volume and uh, use all the storage area. Uh, and select a, let's keep the Q because why not? Uh, you'll need to select one letter because otherwise you can browse it as you saw in the video earlier. Now XFAT is a little bit sketchy. If you're going to use this with a Windows system, do only select NTS, uh, NTFS. Uh, remember that uh, all other systems like Mac may not be able to read it, but you'll know. Uh, and Select a nice name. Cool base is a nice name. It's a cool name. Uh, and allocation unit size, keep that as default. You can max it out if you're only going to store big files on it, like movies, for example. All right, and we'll do a quick format and click finish. And there we are. It's now formatted. So if we bring up uh, Explorer, you can find it here. Cool, cool, cool base. And hopefully we can do folders and stuff here. And if we can do folders and stuff here, we sh should. Oh yeah, this disk is problematic. So if the disk behaves like this, um, you can try and restart your computer, but most likely there is something really wrong with, with this particular hard drive. It, it might be pretty lost. Uh, and, oh lords. All right, so this disk has some serious uh, problems. It might be unrecoverable. It did create this uh, folder, but it also kind of crashed the system almost. Uh, so we're going to try and run crystal disk info and see if we can get some more data from it. And if your system just uh, like hangs itself, you can't do anything. You can try disconnect it. And it's uh, usually um, stuff goes on again and then you can connect it again. Uh, and perhaps it will show up. All right. 
Let's do a rescan, F6, okay. Interesting, this is very interesting. So it seems that this disk, it's not, we don't have any lift, listed issues on this disk, but uh, as you can see, like so far, it has behaved pretty sketchy. Uh, so that's interesting. If you get a warning here, it's usually something you, you'll have a real problem. But uh, seems that it's slow as hell, but it says nothing is wrong with it. That's very interesting. All right, Windows and E. Let's go in here. Wait, we had a folder here before. Let's try and make a new one. All right. Um, even though it's listed as okay there, um, this disk is definitely not usable. Uh, but hopefully you had more luck with your disks and hopefully uh, you were able to actually access the disk because the first problem was it wasn't even accessible. It didn't have a drive letter assigned to it. Well, um, it's a little bit of an um, error hunting video and um, you can see stuff is not really working here. <laughs> cool base is uh, going to the bin, I believe. No way to salvage this, unfortunately. If you don't contact the uh, professionals, of course, but that's really expensive. So only do that if you know you have very important data on it. Anyways, I uh, hope this tutorial helped you and hope you had more luck with your disk. This is your host, Jim Adesim, signing out.